You know, it's said that the best camera you have is the one you have in your hand. Smartphones give us a quick way to snap photos of the everyday moments, but you don't have to sacrifice great quality pictures for convenience. Photographer Kayla Trujillo is here to share tips to make those everyday smartphone snapshots better. We appreciate it. In fact, Kayla, you say with just a few little pointers from you, they could even be frame worthy. Yes, of course, yeah. I love smartphones because they're with us and just with a couple little tricks, you can make them really great pictures. And summer, I think sometimes can be tricky because there's so much bright sunshine, yes. but you say, play with it. Yes, so I actually love bright light. I love the colors when you're playing with bright light. So I would just say, have your subjects positioned so that the sun is falling to the side of them. So kind of like a side side light here, or even through the back. If you have like a really pretty bush or trees, you can kind of filter that light through the trees and just have it backlight them. And the summer light is just beautiful. Yeah, because I think one thing that's hard for me anyways is you get like, you're, you're trying to get them in a little bit of shade, but then you get the leaks yes, on yep, their face. Yes, and it makes them really inconsistent coloring and kind of makes it more dull. So if you really utilize that light, you're gonna get the bright, the okay. bright images. A little backlight, yes. all right. And you say play games for more candid shots. You know, we're all always trying to get those candid shots. Yeah. Our teens seem really good at it, but the rest of us not That's so true, actually they're excellent <laughs> at it. But so I have really young kids and one trick I love to use is I love to, with my naughty little four year old, I tell her don't smile, Lainey don't look at the camera, don't smile at me and she does the exact opposite and so she just starts giggling and I just get really cute pictures of her that way. And my son does the same thing. And do you have some specific games you like to try? I mean we used to have like the puppet yes, or oh whatever my gosh, we yes. were trying no. to do. What do we do now? Yeah, one thing my kids love to play is telephone. So like I'll have my seven year old start and like whisper something in daddy's ear and then he whispers it to my daughter and like just that interaction makes for really cute pictures and then they just think it's so fun and they're not fighting me on taking pictures. What about if you're just taking pictures of the kids? Sometimes that can be harder if you don't have adults to initiate that action. What do you have your kids do to get them to do candid? So I love like if I want to have them walking, I can play like red light, green light or Simon says like Simon says, don't look at the camera. Simon says, look at the camera. Just like those little games make it so much more fun than me saying, okay, you're going to stand right there and you're gonna smile for mom like they don't want to do that but if I make it into a game then they're gonna be so cute and darling for pictures I love the red light green yeah. light idea I'm using that one okay the next you say and we've heard this before like the rule of thirds but you're talking about this is how you frame your picture yeah so if you want to make an interesting picture the rule of thirds is just really simple just imagine that you have two lines like up and down on your picture and then or uh, yeah up and down and then two lines across and you just want your subjects to fall on one of those lines and so like in this shot you can kind of see they're a little bit more over to the left but it just makes for a little bit more of an interesting picture and something that would be more frame worthy than just like a typical cell phone picture. And how do we do that with our cell phones? Because I know I see the grid yes. on there sometimes, but I think most of us are too scared to tap no. anything. Yeah, so that's actually like a setting you can turn on. You can shoot using the grid or I just visualize it and I can just picture it. I don't really need the grid and I can just picture it and just kind of put my subjects where they need to fall. Yeah, say that rule one more time because it blew by me so a little bit. So the rule of thirds, just explain it again. Yeah. So you're going to have two lines across like like left to right and then two lines up and down and you want your subjects to fall like on one of those lines or one of those intersections. Okay. And it just makes for a more interesting and more like eye pleasing picture. So anything beyond like a portrait you want to think of those things. Yes. Yeah. And it just makes it just looks nice. Like I, I don't know it, like mentally it looks like that's where that they should fall. And so it just makes it more interesting. Yeah. No I totally agree. I'm going to try to remember that. Okay. Next you say to edit your pictures. Again something a lot of people are scared to yes, do. Yes. Which is don't don't make this scary. There's tons of free apps, but my favorite is the Lightroom mobile app. It's a free download and you can just change your pictures and just brighten them just a tiny bit. You don't need to know a ton about editing. You can just change the exposure or change the vibrancy and you can go from something that's a little bit darker to a little bit lighter or you can even make it black and white and make it a little bit more timeless. And so the apps are really easy, really fun to play with and they just add just a little pop to your pictures. So you would recommend using a standalone app over just using what's on your phone? Yes, totally. I would recommend that instead of like the Instagram filters or anything like that. Just learn how to use an app and then it'll save a new version of the image and you can like use that to print or post. My daughter informed me this weekend that I'm making it look too vibrant. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I do kind of like that low fire. Teenagers whatever, you know are so judgy <laughs> about so, pictures. Yeah, she says I'm making it too vibrant. I need to tone it down. And your last one is to take pictures of everyday simple things. I feel like when we have photographers on, this is something they tell us often yes. and I think we all ignore it. Yes. So tell us again oh. what 
what are we going to look for? I just feel like sometimes we're like in such a, a age where we just want everything to be perfect, right? And Instagram worthy. But honestly, like like this, I love pictures of my kids just doing what they love. Like my kids love to look for worms in the backyard and it is not Instagram worthy, but it's who they are. Or like my son got a bike that he's so proud of. And so I just want to take pictures of their childhood and remember them as they are and not necessarily try and get like the perfect post worthy picture. And I do think more and more people are doing like those gallery walls in yes. their homes where they're putting these more candid yes. photos up. It's just not all portraits. Yeah, which I love because again, like that is your family that's like real and raw. Like I love, obviously I love family pictures and I'm an advocate for them, but there's something about just capturing them like in their, you know, Star Wars t-shirts or whatever, how they naturally are. And I just love that. And I think something that we could focus on too is like, what are people doing all the time? Like I realized I finally needed to take pictures of my dad bowling. Oh my gosh, Because yes. he bowls like all the time. And that is him. And yeah. that is something that is just like unique to him. Yeah, that's and so awesome. And now I just need to remember your other rules and we'll be able oh to my gosh. do it. Don't overcomplicate <laughs> it. When in doubt, just take the picture and it's gonna be great. So if people wanna book with you or get more tips, where's the best place? Yeah, so you can follow me on Instagram. It's Kayla.TrulyPhotography. And I share lots of tips on there and then booking information as well. All right, thank you so much. Yeah. We will post a link to Kayla's website on ours, studio5.ksl.com. And there you'll also find these photo tips to refer back to.